Do you believe the feds on this? Well, gee, I don't know if I want to go on record on that, but probably I would say that probably I don't believe the feds. Starting tomorrow, I'm no longer just a shipping clerk. I'm chairman of the board. And it's all because of Freaking.com. Senator Merrifield? Uh, Senator Merrifield's chief of staff. Oh, you're Senator. Oh, I'm you're Scott. with Senator Merrifield. Yes. Oh, hi, I'm Dave. Really, it's a poor man's TV station. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Question for you. Yes. Well, what, if anything, is uh, your office doing to help protect uh, the owners of the marijuana dispensaries from federal crackdown? Um, you know, that would actually be one you need to talk to the senator himself about. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, uh, out of the loop on that one. I don't have any useful information for you on that. Can you tell me if uh, state reps and senators, are they allowed to carry firearms in the legislature? Um, you know, I don't know what the actual rule is. I know nobody does, but I don't know what the rule is. Oh, you mean you checked everybody? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess the metal well, that's detector. true. The metal detector yes, did, exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be rather difficult to get him in, but uh, I don't know if there's an actual rule on that or not. So so the, the state reps and senators don't, and, and is, is the public allowed to carry under I, any circumstances? I don't believe so, but again, I don't know what the rule is. Okay, great. I appreciate right. it. You bet. All right, see you in there. Senator Merrifield, is that you? Yes. Hi, right, question for you. I'm an independent reporter. From the Colorado Springs Independent? Oh, no, it's uh, RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man TV station. Okay. Uh, question for you. What, what, uh, what, if anything, is your office doing to help protect uh, uh, marijuana dispensaries from potential federal crackdown? Well, at the moment, we're not doing anything. I'm not uh, an expert on the issue. However, my sympathies lie with marijuana dispensers, recreational or medicinal. So if there's uh, any opportunity that I can help them, if the organizations want to get with me, I'd be a bit more than happy to talk with them. Basically, I think Colorado voters have decided that uh, marijuana is a legitimate product and it's something that we should have the opportunity to purchase. And since that's what the will of the voters is, I intend to see that it's carried out. There was a big federal raid in 2014 uh, toward the end on a bunch of different medical or marijuana growers mostly. Uh, and they, I think, claimed at the time that these were all people who were in violation of state law in some way. So do you believe the feds on this? Well, gee, I don't know if I want to go on record on that, but probably I would say that probably I don't believe the feds did. I think this so-called war on drugs has been a abysmal failure, and the, the failure of the federal government to get in line with this progressive states, I think, is a mistake. To what extent are you you comfortable with the level of federal reaction so far? Are not comfortable? Once again, I'm not sure. I know the details of how much their response has been. I. Uh, I just wish that they would consider the fact that Colorado has made their decision and, and, and sort of stay out of our business on that issue. Okay. Are you low on time? Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm going to let you go for now. I'll see you in there probably. All right. Thanks, Senator. Keene, New Hampshire the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at Freaking.com believe this is the place you should be if you believe in peaceful non-cooperation. Freaking.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freaking.com